look at this guy. We finally finished the detail work on the main body molds. And I think we've really captured the essence of the infection form. Now, when we did our test poles, we discovered that we had a hard time capturing these kind of details and inside the nubs here along the spine, as well as around the edges. So we need to work on improving our ability to capture the details. And the way we're going to do that is by using this supersized 1 8 inch drill bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to drill holes all the way through the mold so that the channels it creates will reach all the way down to the plate of the vacuform machine and the vacuum there will pull out all the air around these details helping the plastic to pull in and better capture these details. So the holes will go all the way through to the back of the mold and then uh, the holes in the vacuform plate will uh, reach up and pull the air out of those channels and pull the plastic in tighter around these details allowing us to capture every bit of detail. Now the final piece we'll do, we had trouble getting around the edges. I'll come in with a hot air gun and reheat the plastic while the vacuum is still pulling around these edges to help draw in the plastic a little tighter at these edges. But we do have an overlap, remember, on both sets of molds so that we'll get about a centimeter extra all the way around that gives me a surface to work with for the gluing. So I think these things are gonna be great. We'll check back in after I get the holes drilled and we get the tentacle molds prepared for pulling. We've made just a couple of changes to our infection form bodies here by adding a detail that was missing and that's the veins across the lower surfaces of the infection form body. We've added them with spot putty in a syringe and on first glance they look like they're overdone a little bit too deep but the reason for that is these are going to be male molds with the plastic pulled over the top. So on the actual surface of the model, the details will not stand out quite as crisply. So we overdo the veins and the nubs so that we'll get just the right amount of definition on the front surface of the model once it's pulled. This is a big day at the Red Shirt Studio where we have finished detailing the infection form molds. We've added some details since you saw it last, the veins on the surface to better capture the look of the game model. But we've also drilled these holes all around the molds. They run all the way through. And what that allows is for the vacuum from the machine to be drawn all the way up to the detail surface of the model and help pull that molten plastic closer to the details so they're better captured on the outer surface. It's gonna be the finished product. So these holes at about an eighth of an inch in diameter are just big enough to draw the air through, but not big enough to be seen on the outer surface of the finished product. So they're gonna work great for us, help us capture the detail, get a better result than we got out of our original test poles. Now for the tentacles, we've done the same thing. We've elevated them off the ground a little bit so that the plastic, while it won't pull tight, it'll leave a bit of a fillet at the edge, we'll still capture all the detail down to the very edge of the actual mold. And for areas where we've got undercuts or high details, we've also drilled through to better do a draw of the vacuum and therefore the melted plastic into those details. So we'll get better seams, they'll clean up nicely. And when we've built up our tentacles, then they'll get grafted to their respective spots on the finished product fared in with some clear silicone and I think we're going to get a great result.